name is Claire Feinstein. I'm the Deputy Director of Child Protection at Save the Children. Later in this presentation, you'll meet my colleague Georgina O'Hare. We're going to talk to you about our COVID-19 Child Protection Catalogue of Innovation. As we all know, COVID-19 is creating serious long-term risks to children's protection, well-being and healthy development. On top of this, the pandemic has required significant changes to our ways of working and programme implementation, particularly given our focus in child protection on in-person activities and support. As a result, new and creative methodologies for child protection programming continuity, as well as adaptations that are effective in ensuring the continuity of essential child protection services and support, have become an organisational imperative. In Save the Children, we have an organisational commitment to sharing knowledge, learning from each other and increasing our impact. We are now using this commitment to help the effective documentation and sharing of learning during the pandemic. This is being done through a global online learning log. Staff members across the organisation identify lessons learned. These get discussed by the senior management team in country to ensure senior level buy-in and ownership. The lessons then get uploaded to the global learning log to share what happened, what went well and why, what did not go well or could be improved and why, as well as lessons learned and recommendations. In child protection, we are now leveraging this global learning log to do a deeper dive into these lessons learned with the intention of surfacing innovation. We are identifying areas for follow-up from the global learning log to surface the particular innovation behind the learning. In addition, we are identifying other potential areas of child protection innovation from country response plans. Once lessons learned have been identified, we then do a deep dive and ask additional questions to find out exactly what enabled and hindered the adaptation, its appropriateness and effectiveness in addressing child protection issues and risks, and the evidence that there is for positive outcomes or impact of the adaptation or innovation. From the country response plans, we've mapped a number of areas of innovation which appear to be common across a number of country offices in their programmatic response to COVID-19. These overarching areas are remote adapted case management, parenting without violence, MHPSS, and cash and voucher assistance for child protection outcomes. For the first three areas of work focused on remote or adapted programming, this includes adaptations and innovations related to guidance and tools, provision of remote training and support to staff, providing remote or tech-based support to communities, caregivers and children, and messaging through different remote and online platforms. The fourth area of work focuses on increasing use of social protection programming, commonly cash and voucher assistance, to support various child protection outcomes including violence, family separation, child marriage, and child labor. So as an example, one of the areas of innovation under development at the moment is remote adapted case management and specifically providing remote training and support to staff and other key stakeholders. So far, we have ex collected examples from Myanmar and Indonesia. As a result of what has gone well, engaging factors, as well as what hasn't gone well and challenges, we have a number of lessons learned for providing case management training remotely. Unsurprisingly, most of these are related to addressing issues of absence and participation, including having manageable numbers, sessions that go for no longer than two hours, ensuring participants know how to use the training platform and strategies to encourage participation online including having participants use their video, icebreakers, Q&A sessions, case studies and simulations. Providing remote case management training has meant that we have been able to reach more participants at a lower cost. We are currently looking at differences in outcomes in terms of pre and post testing, comparing face-to-face -face and online training modalities. The need to adapt and find new ways of working due to COVID-19 is something we have all needed to do. If others are interested in documenting these lessons learned, adaptations, innovations, we have a few reflections to share. Having the organisational focus on documenting lessons learned and an online platform has certainly helped us and allowed us to leverage an organisational process for our own learning initiative. 
Having identified common areas of adaptation and innovation and encouraging the submission of lessons learned in these areas will also allow us to have information from multiple examples to develop a specific area of innovation. There have, of course, also been a number of challenges, which has pushed out the time frame for this work. Although using the organisational process and platform has been beneficial, this also means that country officers are developing and documenting lessons learned in all the different thematic areas we work in. So it is taking some time to see an adequate number of child protection submissions. Levels of evidence available on the effectiveness or outcomes of the adaptation also varies and has made it more difficult to be able to say that we have identified an innovation. We were aiming to have this work complete for this meeting and to focus more on the innovations. However, we are now looking at completing it in late October, early November. From there, we will have a focus on sharing these learnings, innovations, both internally and externally, including through facilitating online sharing and learning among country officers and a series of webinars. Thank you.